Crystal's mine this time. Warn a guy next time. Sheesh. No way we can talk this out. Let's see what this crystal has. Someone's watching us, Kimia. But I don't want you to worry. That's my job. Someone was keeping tabs on Marco. And who's Kimia? Crush this crystal. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but everywhere I go, I see them too. Work, the corner store, in the park. They're tracking us. Marco is really freaked out. Wonder if whoever was following him is still out there. Let's get it! Oh no, it's Spider-Man! <laughs> Not my birthday, guys! No need for the surprise! All this trouble for a little crystal. So I tell the cops that someone's out to get us, but they don't listen to me. No one ever does. Time to take matters into my own hands. I haven't seen Marco in years. I would have been there for him if I knew he was in trouble. Hey, I was just talking to my source at the raft. Marco's been belligerent and incoherent since he got there. They said he's starting to show signs of improvement. Whatever you're doing with those crystals, keep it up. You guys waiting around for me? Y'all be 
being really possessive. thought no one else could help him. I feel for the guy. I should check out that crystal. My sandy friend. These guys won't let up. That sand crystal has my name all over it. I find them, and they're waiting for me. With all sorts of weapons. What the hell have I walked into? Waiting for them with weapons? They knew who they were dealing with. Need to get that crystal! Okay, let's see what we got. They're circling me, Miha. Oh, wishing I just stayed home with you and came here. Helped you with your homework. Made you the one meal that I know I cooked. But it's too late now. Kimia's Marco's daughter. I had no idea. Just check back in on Marco. He's steadily improving, making more and more sense. He's even eating again. Doctors are hopeful. Good work. Hey, Pete, you ready to come by the Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah, whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. <laughs> Chief Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but 
there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely! Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. that sand crystal. I ask them what they want, and all they say is, the beast inside me. But that ain't been me for a long time. Much like I promised you. He promised his daughter. That's why we haven't seen Sandman in so long. He gave it up for her. Crystal and I'll be on my way? Sorry guys, but I'm not leaving without that sand crystal. Marco, what's going on in that head of yours? I tell them to leave us alone, but they don't care. They shoot me with a net, try to hold me down, and I was sand before I knew it. I'm so ashamed, but I had no choice. I gotta get back to you. The hunters were after him. Marco had to do something, or else he'd be just like Scorpion right now. Sorry to break it to you, but the beach is that way! Despite all appearances, this is no day at the beach!
Finally. Can I put up this crystal in peace? I lose the grapes at the school and come home. Walk through the front door. But you're not there. They are. What have they done to you, Kimia? Craven's real twisted for putting Marco's kid in the middle of all this. Gotta look for more crystals to find out what happened. Marco's memory is returning and he's agitated. The doctors are piecing together what happened. It, it sounds like it's not all his fault. I'll let you know if I hear more. Just how many of you are there? Protecting! Back to our regularly scheduled programming. Sand crystal time. I start yelling, losing my cool. If they did anything to you, I can feel the sand about to take over. And then they splash me with some chemical. Don't know what it is, but trying my hardest to stay awake. I'm fading fast until I see... black. Must have used some strong stuff to knock out Sandman. But what happened to Kimia? Coming to my talk. Today, we'll explore how to get sand everywhere. Now that's a knuckle sandwich. gone. And that sand crystal is mine. I wake up in some kind of dungeon. Lots of empty cells around. You're not here. But are you okay? Marco must have felt so helpless. Trapped. With no idea where his daughter was.
have got a very special episode for you today. Here to dish about all things going on in Harlem recently is the incredible and brilliant Councilwoman Rio Morales. Good to have you back, Rio. Good to be back, Danica. So, we've been seeing reports of an attempted robbery in Harlem? Unfortunately. But the Harlem Cultural Center is home to artifacts from resilient musicians of color. What better way to honor them than to be equally resilient? We'll recover just fine. If there's one thing I love, it's optimism. And I heard Spider-Man might have been involved. What can I say? Art thieves never expect to fake out. Or Spider-Man. You'd think they'd learn to plan for both. <laughs> right? So Spider-Man was on the scene. That's great. Think he's handsome under that mask? That's what they say. Well, New York wouldn't be the same without him. Thanks, Rio. Give it up for Rio Morales, who graciously lent us a Here we go! They're really guarding this one! Crystal's all clear now. They say their boss is coming soon, and that he wants to meet me. I'm not waiting around. Sorry to break our promise, Kimi, but I'll tear this city apart to find you. Marco was worried Craven's people hurt his kid. That's why he blew up. There's another crystal, but no sand minions? Not that I'm complaining. Where am I? That light, what is that? Giant spikes! Is the crystal at the center? It's crumbling! You gotta keep it up! His subconscious is starting to fight back! There's the crystal. I tried to be the best dad for you, Kimia. I really did. All I can do is hope they didn't hit you and that you're safe at your mom's. I love you so much, Mia. We'll be together again one day. 
I know it. been calling you. My source of the raft told me Marco keeps repeating some address in Queens. I'm sending it to you now. I think you should check it out. Her mom's. Maybe that's where Kimia is. Hey, MJ, you think you could patch me through to Marco at the raft? Hang on while I look into it. Okay, all set. Patching him through now. Spider-Man. Sorry for my... Well, the mess. Thank you. You helped me get my mind right. I'm sorry for not listening. Guess I never got to know the man behind the sand. But I think Kimia's at her mom's. On my way there now. If she's there, do me a favor. Give her those crystals. Something to remember me by. Of course. Take care of yourself, Flint. She's okay. Wish there was more I could do. Maybe I can ask some lawyer friends to help Marco with visitation rights. suffering through a litany of problems right now. Inflation through the roof, feckless government officials, and a country on the brink of a collapse not seen since the fall of the Roman Empire. Yet the worst, most insidious dilemma we face is that of the faceless. It seems another masked vigilante is bringing their illegitimate justice to the streets. All reports indicate an individual disguised in purple and sporting a take-no-prisoners approach to the illegal activities they perpetrate. Some of you have criticized the Spider-Man for not going far enough. But I can't believe what I'm saying. That's not in their jurisdiction. While they shouldn't be out there in the first place, at least they haven't sworn themselves as judge, jury, and executioner. We have systems in place for these people. If this new hero really wanted to enforce order to the fullest extent of the law, they'd join the police department. Why is it so hard for some people to follow the rules? This is the chaos the Spider-Man inspired. And why must I be the sentinel of statutes? Now how about some 